This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I have my earnings report for February 2019. And boy, is it bad. This is probably one of my worst months ever. Um, traditionally, the spring months have been slow for me. Usually, um, Christmas, the winter, December is always the busiest period. And then January, February are slow, but this is a pretty bad month. Um, especially coming off of a December where I made over $300 uh, to drop down to $114 in sales um, is kind of disappointing. Um, I'll talk about why I think it happened and some interesting things. Um, but uh, the bottom line is that I made $114 off of eight sales um, and 1,500 page views. So why do I think this happened? Well, in January, I raised a lot of my prices um, significantly to because I thought my songs were worth more and I thought that uh, Pond5 buyers would pay it. Um, it doesn't look like that theory has paid out at all um, because my page view numbers really haven't gone down at all, but my download numbers went down significantly. So people are still finding my songs. They were still uh, seeing them. My songs are as good as they've always been, uh, but they just were less likely to buy. And the only thing that had changed was the price. Um, so what can we take from this? Well, I need to lower my prices. Um, and I'm speaking to you from March 2018 right now. Um, it's also I lowered my prices about halfway back to where they used to be. Um, it still hasn't fully recovered, so I think I'm going to have to go all the way back down. We'll see. Um, but... Um, that basically is like a twenty to twenty nine dollar range for tracks, unfortunately. Um, but what we do see here is on the beginning of the month, I sold, I made forty nine dollars and fifty cents, which means that I sold a track for twice that. Yes. So in February, I sold my most expensive song ever for ninety nine dollars, um, and this was like a professionally produced song with vocals and um, brass and all of that. So it was definitely like a very high quality song. And this sort of had inspired me to think, well, you know, there's a market on the top for really good music. But the fact is, um, you know, this February 8th, I sold a sound effect. February 10th, sold a song. Sold a song on the 18th and the 12th. Sound effect on the 23rd. A song on the 24th. That's, that just really doesn't cut it for the amount of songs that I have up there. So the... Um, you know, the big conclusion I have to draw from this is that I've got to lower prices. Um, generally, my lifetime average is about one sale for every 70 views. So, you know, I don't know. I, I, uh, I probably should have had closer to, I don't know, let's do the math. Uh, so I should have had 19 sales. And instead, I had eight. Um, so that's almost that's more than fifty percent off. Um, so that's disappointing, but you know there's a lesson to be learned from this. I hope you take it forward. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have um, you know continue to talk about the truths of the music licensing business and how it's not all beer and donuts. You know it definitely has its ups and downs, um, but there's also teachable moments, and I'm here to kind of try and shepherd you through. Um, so be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to know more about how you can start licensing your music, I've got a free five-day crash course on this. Uh, I'll put a link down below or just visit www.stockmusicmusician.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.